Can you hear me? Can you talk? Can you walk? Do you recognize yourself? Do you remember your name? Do you feel the test of your favorite food when you're imagining it? How is it possible? Hello, this is Ramin Hazada, your 11th class biology instructor. As you know, the 11th class biology is talking about different type of scientific materials. So, in order to understand these different type of materials or subjects and concepts, first we must have uh, the objectives. So, let's first begin with the objectives. The objectives that we follow through this video are these. First, introduction to cell. Second, discovery in history of a cell. Third, the cell theory. Let's start it. As you see this picture, these are the organs of the human body. You may understand after reflecting in this word. For example, have you reflected the intestines, muscles, lungs, the heart, or flesh, but not same to each other? Here is not the same stuff as needs. On deeper examination, we find that every part and piece of the body is made out of a separate and different thing. Why? We will study the definitions and also to answer this type of reflected questions in the elephant biology class. That we will start from the introduction to the cell. As you see this picture, you can define that at the start, you can see the atom, but at the end, you will see the organism. The definition arises like this, that atoms will combine to each other to make a molecule, then different molecules will combine together to make macromolecules, and this is the macromolecule that produces organelle. And different types of organelles are going to be produced the cell, and cell will be changed into tissues and then tissues are exchanged to organs, organ systems, and also it causes at the final stage to have an organism. So for now, we can have a definition. Cell is the fundamental, structural, and functional unit of all living organisms. There is two highlighted words. One, structural, second, functional. As you see the cell, will occupy the different functions and different type of structures in the entire body of this organism you can find different type of structures systems and organs so at the first stage these different type of organ systems are going to be produced from the single cell let's go forward discovery and history of a cell as you do the cell theory is a puzzle. That means the different pieces of this puzzle has been combined by the impact of different scientists. So we can say that cell theory can be attributed to work of many scientists, physicians, and naturalists. For example, when we start at the early days of microscopy, we can face that an English scientist, Robert Hooke, in their 1665, published a book in the name of Micrographia. In his book, he decided to examine tinselites of plant material. He used the cork plant and he was struck after seeing regular appearance of the structure. So without being re realized, he uh, published or established uh, the term cell. After uh, Robert Hooke, you can find that another impact on cell theory is related to Anton van Leeuwenhoek. In 1674, the father of microbiology and one of the first microscopists and microbiologists, the first who observed single-cell organism, which is known as prokaryotes. 
and you will be able to understand about microscopes and also about the prokaryotes in next videos. At the another step, uh, you will face the Lorenz Oaken and also the Lamarck. Both experts summarize the year and say that nobody can have life if its constituent part are not formed by cells. Let's talk about another scientist. This scientist is known Robert Brown. In 1831, he reported the presence of the nucleus in the cell, which is a big impact in cell theory. Another one is Felix Dujardin, a French biologist. In 1835, he recognized the existence of one celled organism that is called protozoa and the protoplasm seemed to be associated with all forms of life. Another one whose work is uh, affecting on cell theory is Hugo van Mohel, a German botanist. He noted for his research on the anatomy and physiology of plant cell. He was the first person who used the word protoplasm. And in other steps, we will face another two brothers, Matthias Schleiden and Theodor Schwann. In 1838, Matthias Schleiden had stated that plant tissues were composed of cells. And Schwann demonstrated the same fact for animal tissues. And in 1839, they concluded that all tissues are made up of cells. Totally, we can summarize uh, their observation and research in three words. That cell consists of three basic parts, nucleus, cytoplasm, and plasma membrane. These are the most important effects and effects of these two brothers, one botanist and then another zoologist, who observed the presence of the nucleus, cytoplasm, and plasma membrane. Let's have another step. When you face another man in history of cell theory, that is Rudolf Coral Ratio, the father of modern pathology, he published the biogenic law. What is biogenic law? In simple words, we can say that the biogenic law says that new cells were formed only by division of previously existing living cells. Another important impact which has been affecting on cell theory is Walter Fleming. He is also a biologist. He explained the practical proof of cell division and living things. In simple words, he created a systematic study of chromosomes during division and called this process mitosis. The cell theory or the summary. After studying this lesson, we can summarize the entire lesson into five steps or into five sentences. It means the entire cell theory is consists of these five sentences. First, all organisms are made up of either one or more cells. Second, cell is the basic unit of a structure and function of the living body. Third, all cells arise from pre-existing cells. The modern cell theory add two and other sentences or laws. Fourth, cells contain and pass on hereditary information during cell division. Fifth, all cells are relatively the same in relation to chemical composition and metabolic activity. Thank you so much, dear students. That was your today's lesson. We will face in the next videos. Okay, dear students, if you face any difficulty during this video's lesson, you can comment us at this video, then we will check it and we will have your answer. Thank you so much.